What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to yet another video. For those of you guys that don't know, my name is Angelo and I'm here to bring you everything keto. If you guys aren't currently subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do that right now. This channel goes over everything keto, fitness, and just learning how to get into fitness when you start out from the beginning to end. Um, so in today's video, I wanted to show you guys how to make keto fudge brownies. Yes, I said keto fudge brownies. So what does that mean? So that means that they are ketogenic friendly. There's no added sugar into it. So it's all natural ingredients and you don't have to worry about it knocking you out of ketosis as long as it fits your macros. I've been waiting to put out a dessert recipe video for some time now and looked all over for the perfect one. And when it comes down to having a sweet tooth, chocolate is the number one thing I crave. So I reached out to Keto Connect. If you guys don't know who they are, they're an awesome keto channel within the keto community. I'll put all their information in the description. Make sure you guys follow them. They're an awesome couple that do a lot of different recipe videos like this one. Um, but they gave me the ability to go ahead and record this for my subscribers to show you guys exactly this perfect, dense, amazing keto brownie. So if you guys are ready, I'm always ready to provide it for you. Let's go ahead and get this video underway. All right, so let's go over all the ingredients that this specific recipe calls for. So ingredient number one, you're going to need three eggs. Now you wanna make sure you take the eggs out of the refrigerator about 25 to 30 minutes before baking so that they're at room temperature. Next, you'll need one fourth cup of unsweetened cocoa powder, two tablespoons of coconut flour, 12 tablespoons of butter. I use Kerrygold butter and I do use the salted version. It works out a lot better and gives it a lot better flavor profile. A half a cup of erythritol, half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, two ounces of baker's chocolate, which is half of a bar, and just a pinch of pink Himalayan salt. Okay, so one last thing you're gonna need is a tin. We're not gonna use a normal glass um, I think it's an eight by nine or eight by five, something like that, I'm not sure. Um, this one's a nine by five, specifically it's a bread tin. Um, I find this one to be the easiest to use because you get the nice thick brownies and they stay together a lot better. Um, you do use a toothpick to check the middle, so make sure you guys have a toothpick handy to check the middle to make sure that none of the chocolate sticks to it. But I'll show you guys what that looks like here shortly. Let's go ahead and move on and getting this first step prep. All right, so for the first part of this recipe, you're going to want to get a bowl and put in the quarter cup of unsweetened cocoa powder, and then two tablespoons of coconut flour, and then just a pinch of salt. And then you're going to want to make sure that you mix it all up, but also make sure that you get no clumps. Some of the unsweetened coconut powder will have clumps in it, and that will transfer into the brownies if you don't get them out. The small ones aren't that big of a deal, just make sure it's a consistent um, texture throughout the entire mixture. All right, now that this is mixed up, we'll just go ahead and set this aside um, for a little bit later in the recipe. All right, in a separate bowl, you'll crack three eggs. And then add in the half a cup of erythritol, half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. All right, after you get all those ingredients in the bowl, you wanna mix it up, and they say for three times its size. So what I did is I just kept mixing it up until the fluff actually got up closer to the top of this bowl. All right, and then you wanna go ahead and set this aside. So you'll have to grab one more bowl to finish off the recipe. And so go ahead and put in your two ounces of Baker's chocolate. I like to break them up into these smaller pieces. It melts a lot better. And then we'll just go ahead and add the butter to it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna put this in the microwave increments because you don't want the chocolate to burn around the outside. So do 30 seconds, take it out, mix it, put it back in for another 30 seconds, mix it. I'll show you what the consistency you're going to wanna to look for. All right, so this is what what the chocolate is gonna look like. It's going to be very wet looking. 
um, and it's not going to have much density to it. And that's why we're going to add in the eggs. Now, when you do the eggs, the erythritol and the vanilla extract, you're going to add it into three, three separate parts. So we'll just add a little bit to start off with. And then you'll just want to kind of keep mixing it in until it continues to give you the same color throughout the entire mixture. Then adding in the second part. And now the last little bit. Now once that is all mixed in together and is the same consistent color throughout, you'll go ahead and grab your dry mixture that you mixed up earlier and you'll start to add that in in three parts as well. Once you get this done and all mixed up, making sure there's no bubbles, there's no powder in there whatsoever, it's a very beautiful chocolate color. I can't begin to tell you guys how amazing this smells. It just has that great rich smell of chocolate. Um, so now you want to go ahead and grab that tin that I showed you a little earlier, that 9 by 5 all right, now that we have our tin, I did also pre-grease it. Make sure you guys pre-grease it. You do not want to not grease this tin because it will stick to the inside based on the ingredients that we used. So go ahead and you'll just put in your brownie mixture. All right, once you get your brownie mixture put in, now you wanna bake this in the oven at 325 degrees Fahrenheit for about 55 to 60 minutes. So yes, it does take a little bit longer in the oven than a normal traditional brownie, but I promise you guys it is worth the wait. So let's go ahead and get this in the oven. So like I mentioned, you guys, you're going to need a toothpick, so we're gonna grab one out here. Um, for those of you that haven't made brownies before, you wanna make sure you check the center of it. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like. So if we grab our brownie tray, just stick it in the middle there, pull it out, and if there's no brownie mix on the toothpick, then you know it's done from there. Um, what I'll do is I'll let this cool for about five, 10 minutes, I'll check back in with you guys, and yes, yeah, I will do a taste test just for you. All right, guys, so the brownies are all done. Boom, look at that. I cannot begin to tell you guys how amazing these are. Now, these make about eight brownies, which is the perfect amount for you, to be honest with you, even if you guys wanna make these for a party. Um, but I just wanna kinda pick one up here and I want to give you guys a taste test, but I also, I wanna show you exactly what this looks like, so. Look how dense that is. It is super squishy and really good. So let's go ahead and get this taste test underway. Mm. Guys, it's a life changer. I literally put these in a sandwich bag, bring them to work and have them as a after lunch snack. It's just perfect. It meets my macros. You can use it as a fat bomb to increase your fat for the day. But in the description, I will also leave for you guys um, the exact MyFitnessPal. If you search a specific like keyword in MyFitnessPal, it will give you all of the uh, macro breakdown for you so you can put it right into MyFitnessPal really easy for you. Keto Connect makes it so easy for us to be able to do this and I love that they allowed me to make this video for you guys because this sweet tooth, uh, man it's hard on the keto diet sometimes but this definitely curves that appetite. Um, but anyways, let's go ahead and wrap up this video. I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching my video again. I appreciate it. If you guys have not yet subscribed to my channel, please do 
so. Um, it's going to be right below this video. And then also leave me a comment. Let me know what type of other videos you guys want to see regarding the keto diet. Um, if you guys have not followed me on Instagram or Snapchat or Facebook yet, I'll go ahead and put the uh, handles right here for you so you can do so. But if you guys love this style of content, go ahead and smash the thumbs up button for me. And I just want to say thank you guys so much again for supporting me and watching my videos. I look forward to seeing you guys at the very next video. Peace. <laughs>